I swear to God, this woman gets more and more stupid every single freaking day. But you know what? Let's just get this shit over with. What's up, bitches? <laughs> Cringe. So, I'm sure that you are all aware of the horrible shooting that happened down in Florida. It was a horrible incident, and of course, everyone is making up excuses, and of course, not talking about what actually needs to be done. So, the dumb blonde bimbo activist mommy has decided to throw her hat in the damn ring. God, I swear, let's just get this over with. Hi, I'm Elizabeth and I'm the Activist Mommy. Hello there, Activist Mommy. What bullshit do you have for us today? Well, we are all sick about what happened at the school in Florida last week. And we're very divided as we discuss solutions to the problem. Look, we all love children. I've got ten amazing children of my own, and they are my absolute world. The thought of losing one of them to murder is unbearable. Oh, so you agree that something needs to be done so something like this doesn't happen again, right? We all want to make school safer. Now what's the solution? There is now gun hysteria, talk of gun control, sign-wielding, non-voting teenagers in the streets, skipping school, calling the NRA child killers. <laughs> wow. Wow, you really are a heartless bitch. So your response to the people who survived the Florida shooting, people who saw their friends get mowed down, your response is to laugh at them. Oh yeah, 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 you obviously care about these kids. Give me a break. Come on guys, is this even for real? Dallas's mayor pro Tim even stated that citizens can buy bazookas in our country. Uh, no they can't. Can you carry a bazooka? Does a person with a bazooka have to go into a school to shoot up the school and to injure the children? We don't know that. I don't know it personally, but I would imagine that a bazooka is not against the law. Funny how he didn't say that people can buy a bazooka. You outright lied and you are too dumb, blonde, and stupid to realize it. But while people can't buy a bazooka, let's take a look at what weapons people can buy. Number 10 is a cannon. Number 9 is a sap cap. Number eight is a crossbow. Number seven is a katana. Number six is a grenade launcher. Number five is an umbrella sword. Number four is a one-handed flail. Number three is a minigun. Number two is a chain whip. And of course, number one is a damn flamethrower. I'm sure you are in favor of all American citizens having a goddamn flamethrower or a minigun or basically anything on that list. <laughs> The gun used in this shooting was an AR-15, and now there are calls for banning assault rifles when an AR-15 is not an assault rifle. Well, yes, the AR-15 is not an assault rifle. It's not even a fully automatic weapon. It's a semi-automatic weapon. It can still be upgraded to a freaking automatic weapon. Ever heard of a bump stock? Fully legal, and it can turn an AR-15 into an assault rifle. Just a rifle that's kind of plastic and black looking and so people think it's an assault rifle or a machine gun or something. Let me help out you city slickers and illustrate for you what I mean. So this is an AR-15. And this is my concealed carry weapon, a 380 Smith & Wesson. An AR-15 shoots at the same speed as my concealed carry. That's what I want to show you. Jesus Christ. To think that this woman actually has 10 freaking kids and she goes around toting her fucking weapons around. I'm surprised that one of them hasn't even gone off in her freaking house. Listen, guns don't make kids unsafe at school. Gun-free zones make kids unsafe at school. Excuse me, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, please explain to me why you believe that gun-free zones are more dangerous to kids. Because it's really impossible for a mass shooting to occur effectively when law-abiding citizens are carrying firearms. You do realize that when a shooter is doing a mass shooting, the main thing, usually, is to duck 
and cover. You don't go looking for the shooter. This isn't a freaking western movie. The murderer wouldn't get past the first one or two victims before they'd be taken out by a law-abiding citizen. Okay, and let's just say if the law-abiding citizen happened to actually get the shooter. Do you realize what he would have to deal with, right? Oh, I don't know, maybe the police? You don't know what's on their mind. You don't. You were told that there is a shooter and that they are killing people. You do realize once they arrive at the scene of the crime and they see a law-abiding citizen with a gun, then they don't see the shooter. They basically are going to assume that the law-abiding citizen is the shooter. And, well, we know how that's going to be there. ended up being BAM! Here's an important statistic for you, for all those who think I'm a bloodthirsty lunatic for being a gun advocate. Did you know that 98% of all of the recent mass shootings in America have occurred in gun-free zones? 98%. Hmm. Funny how Rush Limbaugh said the exact same thing in 2009 with a lower statistic. Here's another stat, and this is, uh, this is from the same writer, A.W.R. Hawkins. 92% of mass shootings since 2009 have occurred in gun-free zones. 92%. Oh, and um, you want to know the real percent? It's 13%. My God, stop spreading fake news, Elizabeth. It should be an absolute no-brainer to us that gun-free zones are mass murder zones, that gun-free zones are dangerous. No matter how small you are, how weak you are, a gun is the great equalizer and protector of life. You can't be this stupid. You can't. You cannot be this idiotic and dumb. The gun is the great equalizer? The gun is the great protector in life? Really? So basically what you're saying is that we should all go around toting guns openly and freely and basically constantly protecting people. You know, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, you know, maybe instances that everything could go wrong. Because I'm pro-life, I'm pro-gun. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. She, she just contradicted herself, and she's too stupid to realize it. Oh my god. So, because you are pro-life, you're pro-gun. Yeah, um, tell that to the Vegas shooting victims. Tell that to the Pulse nightclub massacre shooting victims. Tell that to, to the Columbine massacre shooting victims. Please tell them that you are constantly pro-life but won't do anything to actually help them stop, doing things, stop these things from happening in the future. Elizabeth, you are a liar! I have ten children to protect. I'm not going to sacrifice my liberty and my family's safety so that your feelings don't get hurt. Lady, you said in the past that you have all of your kids homeschooled. So if you basically, if you ever go on a freaking homeschooling rampage, you have no room to talk. We have something called the Second Amendment in this country. And it says the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. And now it is time for Facts and Definitions with Dr. Stephen Bitterman Esquire. The Second Amendment of the United States reads as following. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be in French. I mean... It's, it's, it's right there in the definition, folks. It's right there. But then again, what did you expect from the woman who thinks comprehensive sex education is basically sex ed in all of the math, all of the studies of the school network? She's basically lying through her fucking blonde ass teeth. And frankly, that blonde hair is possibly faker than this fucking old gray hair that I have. You know what? At least I'm more real than that fucking dumb blonde bitch. Funny how literally the first part of the Second Amendment says well-regulated militia. Funny how you seem to conveniently ignore that. You guys coming for our guns with your irrational fears, why don't you come after the jobs of the FBI agents who had ample opportunity to take care of Nicholas Cruz and didn't? You know, maybe the NRA aren't the child killers after all. Maybe it's you gun-grabbing leftists who want to take our equalizers and protectors away from us. Maybe you're the child killers. Yes, it's the liberals' fault. 
The same people who want to actually protect kids. They are the real killers in all of this. Yes, it's it's not the radical right-wing nutjobs who constantly spout that they are all pro-life. But yet, once the child actually exits the fucking womb, they won't do a damn thing to protect the damn kid. Yeah, the same radical people who actually tote guns in front of their children's faces. No, they aren't the real child killers, uh-uh. No, they are actual all-loving and caring pro-lifers. No, it's, 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 it's the liberals' fault. My God, you're a fucking lunatic. None of us can put an eternal bubble around our children to protect them from ever coming into contact with someone who is unstable. This coming from the woman who burned a Teen Vogue magazine simply because they were teaching teens how to have safe anal sex. The woman who supported a pedophile in Roy Moore. The woman who supports locking up planned Parenthood workers. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're totally stable, ma'am. Give me a break. You belong in a mental asylum. There will always be bad guys. That's why multiple trained armed individuals should be at every school, just as they are at airports and other government buildings. Oh God, oh no, oh God, no, 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 no. I know where she's taking this video. Oh, she's gonna say we need to arm the teachers. Oh, God help me. Any licensed carrier on staff at schools should be allowed to carry inside their school and is capable of protecting students. You do realize that four sheriff officers hid during the Florida shooting. Now, if four sheriff officers simply just hid in the frick during the freaking Florida shooting, what makes you think that the teachers who are basically t paid to, oh, I don't know, teach this next generation of kids, what makes you think that they won't do the same? Furthermore, our amazing veterans could immediately be hired to stand guard at these schools. Oh yes, let's get a military person in there, possibly with PTSD. What could possibly go wrong in that scenario? Schools in America should never again be gun-free zones. We are idiots to allow that to continue. Yeah, actually, you're the idiot who actually thinks it's a great idea to arm teachers. Sadly, fathers no longer teach their children the important skills of gun safety and gun handling. You see, when fathers used to teach their kids these things, and there were far more guns than there are today, kids weren't shooting kids up in schools. Oh, really? Because the first school shooting happened in 1764. And the list just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And oh my fucking God, how hard is it to freaking do a Google search? So we have to admit that it's not the gun that's the problem. Something else is wrong in our society. Students used to respect their elders and respect one another and had a general respect for life. We desperately in this nation do need to grab onto God, our Bibles, and our guns in order to protect our liberties. Lady, where was God when those kids were being slaughtered up in Columbine? Where was God at the Las Vegas massacre? Where was God during the Florida shooting? Oh, I don't know, maybe God was silent. Go screw yourself with your fucking AR-15. And you know, one last thing, protecting my family is not the only reason that I'm a gun owner. I'm a gun owner because I've read history. I've read about Hitler and Stalin and Pol Pot. These tyrants and dictators disarmed the people so that they could then control them. Remember, in order to have a free thinking people and to maintain free speech, our First Amendment, right? You have to be able to protect it with the Second Amendment. So we see what you're trying to do. Marxist leftist politicians are exploiting these kids in order to push their gun grabbing narrative. We're not gonna have it. Then it just proves that you don't give a damn about the kids at all. If you honestly believe that people are coming for your guns when they ask for regulations with the guns, then you don't give a damn about the kids. And you want them to die if you don't give, if you actually keep supporting your guns over your fucking, over the lives of human beings. If you actually put guns over the lives of human beings, then I'm sorry, then you're just 
a monster with no morals whatsoever. Hell, I'd even freaking question if you even care about your own damn kids. If you agree with me and think that we should arm public schools in order to protect the students that we love, please tag your friends and share this video with the hashtag ArmSchoolsNow. Thanks and God bless. I hate this woman. I do. I genuinely, genuinely hate this woman. She points out her own hypocrisy every single chance he gets, but she is too stupid to realize it. Elizabeth, you claim to be pro all life, but yet this video just shows to everyone that you don't give a damn about the kids once they exit the womb. What you are is a radical, insane, police state loving bitch who would rather put guns at a higher priority than the lives of human beings. I'm Egghead. Thanks for watching. Goddamn. God, goddamn. It's just, I, just like I said in the last video, just like I said in the last response video, how many more people have to die before we do anything as a society?